Hi, this is Ellie from Buttons Parties, here again with another dry ice experiment to show you. So, if you've not seen the other two, um, we've done the creating the um, smoke or the smog in a cauldron with the dry ice, and we've done the bubbles coming out of a cylinder with the dry ice. Both really easy, all these experiments are super, super easy, okay, to do. And this one I'm going to do a bubble bomb. So this is so good for a wizarding themed party. I've got my dry ice from chillystick.com, I've got my plastic scoop, I've got my two pairs of gloves on the one hand in case any dry ice falls out and I just need to pick it up quickly. I've got some washing up liquid and I've got a dishcloth which I've already um, made damp and I'm going to put some washing up liquid on this and I'm going to put some washing up liquid around the top of the cauldron. Now if you're not doing a wizard party or a Halloween party or anything like that, just a glass bowl or a ceramic bowl with a um, smooth rim is what you need because you can create a bubble on the top. So up liquid on here. I'm going to get it nice and bubbly. And there we go. And washing up liquid around the edge. You've got to be careful you don't get any washing up liquid inside your bowl or your cauldron because um, all that happens is just you get loads of bubbles inside and you can't create one on the top. So I'm going to give it a little practice first and show you guys. This can take a few times, so I usually get the kids to ooh and ah like fireworks at me um, if I can't get it the first few times. So I get it soapy by going side to side, and then I just pull the cloth slowly across the top towards me. Oh, see, ah, it popped. Where are the kids making my sound effects? And there's a bubble on top, if you can see that. Okay, pop. So now I'm going to add just a few bits of my dry ice in. So a little scoop of dry ice. And I'm going to just go straight back to it, getting this bubble. Because as you will see, it will start to fill up with the smoke. <laughs> and you're going to get a bubble bubble on the top. Called a bubble bomb because it's going to explode at some point. So it gets big, big, big. You can get the children counting. Look at that. <laughs> you can get them looking at all the colours because it's all the colours that you get on top of the um, bubble. Now I normally do this one a few times because the kids love it. And once you've got the actual knack of getting this bubble across, it's a lot easier to do. Um, the more you do, the slower it will take for the bubbles to fill up because the less dry ice you've got in there, so you can always add more in when you need to. You can pick it up, and you can see how wibbly wobbly it is. The kids can make loud noises, see if they can pop it. Uh, they can pop it with their fingers, you can get the birthday boy or girl up if you're doing it for a party, to get them to come and pop it with their finger. You can count how long it takes to pop on its own. So yeah, there's loads of things you can do this one, and they absolutely love it. Boop! Whee! Um, so yeah, I would do it quite a few times. Um, you can pass it round in front of them. Again, same as um, the other experiments we've done, they can't put their hand in the bowl because that's where the dry ice and the water is, um, but they can certainly touch this and they can touch the bubble that's on top. Um, and if you're doing it with older kids, why not get them to have a go at this bit? So I hope you really enjoyed that one. I've got one more video coming up and this one is on a squash jug. So a smoking squash jug, which is really cool. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, and if you like these types of videos, then subscribe to my channel and you'll see lots more of them.